Hey, what's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run off of last time, we are under attack from a couple of Polish armies. So once again, we must defend the walls of Croatia with our depleted units. Yeah, it might be a bit tricky. Um, but let's fight. The first stack is very depleted, the second stack is in good condition, but they'll probably go for the same breaches, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. <clears throat> the Polish forces quite well in the last couple of sieges, because we can defeat their armies in faster order than they can or replace them. So that's giving us time to shore up our western flank. against France and Spain. But that is not the enemy will yet. Try to smash their way in. I know they will, chap. So let's take our guys away. And let's start putting down some... some artillery positions. So let's actually do this. See, which one's my stronger one? We'll probably do something like this, so right at the back. So I, I can actually make a bit of a cauldron, although I do want to do Operation Spikes. Put one there. On there. Maybe just there. So that way, if we start to funnel past this one, they just go straight into here. Cool, those look good. Then this more general purpose one there should do pretty good. tempting to just put my fuselage here and drop another line of stakes but then again it shouldn't just in case there are any leakers yeah let's do that let's put a unit of marines actually put this unit of guards inside the house file our calm citizenry can go here Keep, keep a couple of lines of foot ready to cover the other breach just in case. It's probably not very likely, but something like this. And let's take you. That wall might be breached soon. Let's put you inside the armoury, because you can actually engage a bit from there. Let's put one guy set on top of this gatehouse, just so they can't capture it as easily. And then these marines and foot units are going to be my cover. With my general inside. Nice and safe. Oh no. Play stakes. I can hear the rat a tat tat. Let's get these guys to safety, probably like here. <laughs> one unit sat back here, fine. Actually, we have one unit sat there. So the fuselage are going to place the stakes and they're going to take up position here. 
as long as they don't bug out. Good, they did place them. Let's speed up time and run them back into position. Let's get this guy doing the ceremonial bash bash bash. The Lancer Guard's actually coming in through the other gate for once. Oh, they're coming through both. But these guys are mostly going to get chewed up. They're either going to get shot to pieces or they are going to get... Either get shot to pieces or they're going to get skewered on my spikes. I'm going to speed up time a little bit because it's just this one unit. Yeah, they're both tr they're trying to get into both entrances, but they're a bit bugged. These guys are going to get shot by canister if they're not careful. So my heart is in good position. To be honest, I think they're a bit buggy. Oh no, play. Oh, they're going after my fusiliers, huh? See, they think they can get around this one. I mean, they might kill this unit. The poor old ninth. To be honest, I did put them actually a bit out of the way. Ah, oh, go on, fine. We'll keep you alive. So let's start knock dropping some carcass shot onto these these units. So it looks like they're a bit bugged. They're not even I'm trying to knock down this section here, but that's no bother to me because I'm not garrisoning it. They're both running back. Just a round shot, a good chunk of their line. I'm not sure why they're going so slowly. Go for the artillery at the back. Go for the cavalry, sorry, because that might provoke them to charge if they start getting hit by round shot. But this is mighty strange. So they're still capable of moving smartly. The mercenaries are coming in. How odd. Are these guys going to try and go in, or are they going to try and go around the flank? They're trying to go around the flank. Cheeky buggers. Okay, let's go back to speed one. Should start dropping in carcass shot. So it should be enough to kill these guys with the armed citizenry. Enough to make them break anyway. Probably the same over here. Yep. Try to take my gatehouse, will ya? Not so fast. That's the darndest thing. Okay, now they're starting to wake up. Just keep round shotting. I think I'm going to keep playing on this speed. 
because nothing's really happening. Oh, good. It's a nice trade. Grenadiers for armed citizenry. These guys might try to come in through the breach. No, they're falling back. Unless they are just standing off waiting to see what their artillery can do. But their artillery isn't really doing anything. Hmm. Would run my general out there, but I don't want to lose him because he's he's actually lasted quite a while. Okay, now start Karka shoving some of this infantry. Sleepy them. It'd be nice if that Grenadier Regiment would run out. God damn. Um, okay guys, what's going to happen is I'm going to cut the battle here and then bring you guys back when something interesting happens because it's clearly proven that things are going to be pretty boring for a while. So, see you in a sec guys. Okie dokie guys, the battle's about to end and it's been so unfulfilling I might actually... I stop the recording and I'm going to cut the battle out because honestly there's been no major attacks, there's been a few odd pushes in but nothing to justify how much of this there is just them wandering around scattered artillery and the battle's about to end anyway so I wasn't about to make you guys watch a really boring part or at least no more boring than usual we've seen the carcass shots handy but round shot at least from near misses gets a pretty decent morale effect Because the battle is about to be won. Mainly because of the AI and the battle. I mean, granted, the AI does screw up a lot in this game, but this one it was particularly bad. And yep, they paid for it. Lost 270 men, they lost 2,500. So they've been destroyed. That stack's been destroyed. <gasps> Ooh, I'm not seeing where they've gone. So there's an opportunity to intercept. Dern or Baltimore. Free Polish, Polish on the ter not on my territory. It's good to go knock out Spain, but they're taking them out. We've got lots of forces to sail in, push up, take, take Munich and secure against the Westphalian to drive against the French themselves. So we've got two strong armies, two strong armies, and well managed. Well, no, things are going. Rocky Istanbul. Because the Ottomans take forever. But then as soon as then the Russians take forever. So you know what? Thing might be afoot. But we don't really know. So you might as well start cutting out the Russian end parts because that just takes I have to really ramble to fill those up. I don't really want to ramble. Classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader as they are unhappy with the current government. I'm sure you are unhappy, but not anymore. Let's get this army replenished, ready to engage these chaps that are on the march. You continue to replenish, you need to face down this army under Francisco Castillo Fajardo. Why have I got so little cash? Oh, because I've just reinforced two full armies. That'll be why. Poland, Lithuania, Spain. Ottoman Empire, in Spain. France, in Spain. So why did everyone break? Why did everyone break relations with Spain all at once? Oh, see, I could just jump over now and take Gibraltar and wipe all their armies off the field. What do we want here? Are there any more villages? Nope. Okay, let's turn this coaching in. Let's knock this coaching in down now. And start to build a church school. 
start changing the population start to knock down Spain's territories let's not make you into a church school let's reinforce you you are being you being reinforced good sir this is the army that massacred them at the bridge your orders your majesty men forward sir I mean how's this force looking Guard artillery. Let's get two units of grenadiers, two units of fusiliers. A lifeguard, general bodyguard. Start to put up a new army because it's tempting to send Granville up to attack Brussels. Sir. Orders. Just spend some cash fixing some of this stuff. Still made them that unhappy. Aha, this has reminded me. Okay, let's use my sloops as patrols. You clear this amount of water waterway. Keep clearing. All the way. All our way. Where are they? Yes. Hmm. Because I want to say they must be down here then somewhere. I didn't think they were that much further south. Like, I didn't think they were down here. Maybe they are. Firstly, can you take advantage of this range? Yes, you can. So let's send Monty. Actually, Monty, stay there. I can use one of these sloops to finish the patrol. Okay, let's target you to go back to base. Mighty strange. Unless they've gone north, but if they have gone north, I don't really care. So let's take some of my most damaged ships. Well, to be honest, let's take most of the fleet, get them back to port. Can't repair them this turn anyway. To be honest, it's probably unwise to leave them out anyway. Spain did send a letter of demands, but I'm going to ignore them because they're now happy. I think I'm going to send Granville over to hit Brussels. Let's do this, Brussels. So because the United Provinces have arisen, then their only main territory is down here in Strasbourg, which is nice. So I may as well put the pressure on them, get on the front foot. And get in a good position. Say good. A good plan.
it does open me up to being attacked by Westphalia, so me capturing this region isn't going to be a... Um, it's not going to leave it. Righty ho. So. These guns make a breach to there. These go stand off at this angle. How it says here. Bundle up our elite troops to be something like this. And let's drop them up over here. We've got a heavy cavalry. And some infantry to cover breaches from the front. And we've got our Granville. Sweet. For how it says drop rounds on to um, drop them onto the center. Start to knock out some of this cavalry. Especially this lovely cavalry. Oh, and they've got pikes. Definitely want to hit the pikes. Guard, Guard Swiss, Light Infantry. Let's see if we can knock knock these two sections of wall down. We could trap so many units, but I doubt they'll let us have that opportunity. Come here, how it's just actually hit the walls as well. Let's see if we can trap, can trap a big chunk of their army. Might be a bit of a killer load on as they transit the stairs here. 40, 45, 47, 49. Oh, one more percent. That would have done it. Yep, it's a bunch dead from the wall collapsing. That wall's fractured. Good. So we managed to trap militia, a pretty full unit of Swiss guard. Militia and managed to hurt the guard Swiss quite a lot. So let's get our houses back to firing in the centre. Let's get our you focusing on that breach to the left. You shoot at the guard Swiss on the walls, I suppose. Because they will still create a firing point to shoot down onto us, which we don't want. Let's make one hour to start dropping, sh dropping shots. Onto this breach. To be honest, there might be a bad target for you. Just fire here and just spray it with cannonballs. Let's advance up the troops. So many targets. I want to hit these guys with mortars. I want to hit this area with mortars, and I want to hit these guys with mortars. No, that was that volley was pretty unsuccessful for the most part. So keep shooting at the top. 
try to clear these guys off. Not clear these guys off, but kill them. Speed of time a little bit. Actually, no. If we do Karka shot and aim it here, should go pleh and kill all of them. Which would be nice. You've gained an experience, Chevron. Karka shot coming in. Miss. This one might be good. No. It's back to round shot for you. I could storm my heavy cavalry in here, but then they would just get slaughtered. So I might speed up time just a little bit. And I probably want these guys to advance up and take the section of the wall. You guys keep shooting at the the French company on the wall. If you will, I'm not actually convinced you will. It says you are, but the game lies. Well, they fired, and I don't I didn't see any hits register. Yeah, but they are still going, so can't fault them for that. up. Let's commit my heavy cavalry. Against these company troops, all these France de la Marine, Let's keep you out of it. Destroy a building. So we'll take some fire from the provincial line on the walls, but that's a good trade. Okay, let's put two guys up front. front of the doors. No, don't keep attacking, pull the heavy cavalry back. Put spikes down, which it's a good move by the AI. Cavalry is deployed. So these guys are going square just in case. I'm going to move my heavy cavalry here to intercept them before they try and attack my assaulting troops. Set off a mine. Stuff for taking the walls. Oh, Chevrolet de Gere, I've had enough and they charge my don't charge my square. Good stuff. 
So you've secured this gate. So let's begin the push. Pikes have sallied out. Bit of a bummer. You guys are doing well getting up the walls. Pikeman from the rear. Let's get you guys down, let's get these grenadiers down. Some good looking grenadiers. So now the pikes have been engaged in multiple areas, they can't bundle together, so this should be a good win for us. Charge in. Good all my guns hitting above the gate. I haven't got any quick ways in because these damn French marines are in the way. There's only nine of them there, so I'm not going to waste my grenadiers trying to kill them. Let's get them to support the line infantry near the gate. Let's turn off my howitzers. So I thought these guys were actually doing okay. Take out the gunner. Absolutely surrounded by our troops, and we got him. The officer killed him, no less. Set up our line. Storm in. Swiss, that's where we need to kill. Everyone else is going down. Wheel off. Now go in. Risk or save. Sidwa and a unit of militia. Yeesh. My job is just to hold them up. Poor so holder Gilvy regiment gets destroyed. Just the guard Swiss that we're aiming at mostly. Apparently there's 13 of them there, but I see six. Not 
the city is ours. That's what matters at the end of the day. Smashing. Brussels is ours. Hurrah! A land border with the United Provinces. Damn right, Granville. Take ready for battle. So we've opened ourselves up against the Westphalians if they want to try it. Of which they are more than welcome. Maybe. <laughs> with all of our depleted troops. Good. Granville did get a bonus for that. Plus two to morale. Sword all these. Sword all this. Could I could just go over and take Gibraltar and knock all their armies out, but I want to fight them a bit. Even if it's just a defensive battle, I want to fight them. Um so what I'm gonna do is probably end the battle here, I think. End the part here, which I don't normally do. But I think that's probably the best. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the next part of the, the My 13 Colonies Let's Play. Cheers, everyone.